It's been like 40 years, but we finally got new news on SM2, and my sprinting is bugged again. Wow, I love that. Holy shit. Basically, I mean, that's mostly just because, like, most of the changes they've been making recently have been more so, like, under the hood changes like stuff that most people won't notice while playing there have been some like cooler more wicked visual changes and like weapon changes but like that's not what the entire thing is about the main thing is as they say out with the client in with the core i would like to say i know exactly what this means but i don't really but basically they just like fully like redid like the back end of things so that, like works better so it's like more efficient it, it like gives them more room to do shit with the game they said they decided to move from their client core base to a new and shiny one named core this is their longest dev vlog yet there's a lot to talk about but basically it's just making sure that everything is polished everything's like everything that's like super inefficient and just like outdated is like redone so for example having this sort of like smoother and more polished code base helps them fix issues way faster like they fixed some weird fov bug that the game had it which would have taken forever to fix like had they not like polished the game like this Oh my god, can I please run normally? Also, menus had a major memory leak, which basically there's like way better memory leak explanations out there on the internet. I'll probably just copy paste one and like put it on screen. But basically an application uses way more like RAM than it needs to, put it simply. Now, the biggest issue with like working with the Modern Warfare 2 engine is that it's 32 bit, which means it's limited to four gigabytes of RAM, which was, you know, really good back in like 2003. Now, if you run on four gigabytes of RAM, it's just miserable. But that was a limit back then. And that's what Modern Warfare 2 was like able to handle. So they fully rehauled their dynamic attachment system, which basically replaced the old dumb like last minute system they used to have where like basically every attachment was like a different weapon. Oh shit, I got a shriek. I did not think I was doing that well. They're minimizing the assets usage by removing every unused asset. They're dynamically loading and unloading components and they added texture streaming. I don't know if that was already in the game, but they added but but it's there the whole new dynamic attachments thing is like so like insanely complex i'd rather just not read all of it but it, i'll just put it on the screen just pause the video holy shit i'm positive on modern warfare 2 i'm gonna keep it a sec i never used the tar 21 i kind of regret not using it now it's actually kind of fire holy shit this thing looks so good now control support control this is this is some great news by the way if you have a dual shock 3 or dual shock 4 unlike most games where even when it does say they have playstation support it takes like fucking forever to like fix the controllers so that they actually work it just works out of the box on sm2 same way that the xbox controllers do although if you do have both an xbox controller and a playstation controller plugged in it will prioritize the xbox controller that's just like a windows thing that's not what the dev shows and the playstation controllers will have like light bar support which is pretty cool they even redid the aim assist they redid the aim assist they redid the menu navigation but all together they just want to make the whole process like as easy as possible for anyone playing on controller you can go up there? What the fuck? Image streaming? Now they went all out on this one. They made a graph and everything. But essentially speaking, they need to like do their own version of like texture streaming to make the game more efficient. Hopefully I won't have this stupid sprint glitch. Holy shit. Do you see that? It like jitters and then it like stops me. I think that's gotta be a server. There's like a sprint limit on or some shit. I don't get it. The Kimbo was completely messed up because they treated the uh, Kimbo the same way they did like every other like weapon attachment in the end. So basically they just treated like two, the, both the weapons as one weapon which is weird i don't get that oh great i have juice too bad i can't fucking use it because of this dumbass glitch wow amazing can i please just run oh my god why is it like this okay okay i was about to i was about to ask can this guy sprint and then i realized he's not even sprinting he's literally just standing still camping i'm not playing in this lobby but the whole akimbo issue will also lead to like another problem basically the game treats the weapon like held in the right hand of the player which is where the weapons are usually held as like the main weapon so i don't know if you can see on here no i can't i can't show it but like basically if you were out of ammo on the right weapon and not on the left weapon it would have some like weird animation bug where i would think that the left weapon is like out of ammo i can't i, I still haven't fully figured that out either it's just on screen but whatever that issue is they fix it now that they like fix the akimbo problems also when you start these old games up for the first time it would just like it's starting like a really low resolution like it would be like four by three and shit but that's fixed now it just starts in borderless full screen which i feel like is the greatest setting mankind has ever gotten there are weapon changes though so for example the modern for remastered mp5 is now the modern for 3 version there's a lot of modern for remastered changes just because like they, they had some issues like pouring them back and it's like might as well just use the modern for 3 versions which worked perfectly fine it's also involved with the modern for 2 campaign remastered m14s which is now just the modern for 3 mk14 however there were some like regular weapons they got rid of black ops 2 mk48 because they said it was quote basic it's now the modern for 2 campaign remastered mastered uh l86 which i mean fair enough i, I i'm not i'm not an lmg guy so i can't 
I don't, really, I don't really care. They got rid of the CUDA from Black Ops 3, which, I mean, kind of sounds dumb until you realize that the CUDA is, like, really similar to, like, the UMP-45, and that's already in the game. But they replaced it with the Peacekeeper, which, I mean, yeah, I agree. It's it's, it's better. I don't even really thought about that, though. I low just assumed they already had the Peacekeeper in there. Black Ops 3 PPS Station now is a drum mag by default. I didn't know it didn't. The Black Ops 3 Dracon has been replaced by the Black Ops 4 Vendetta. What the fuck? They got rid of a new site for the Black Ops 3 Galil. I feel like most of the COD Online weapons have just been completely, like... Uh, taken out like they, it's just kind of a massacre caught online deagle is gone it's not a modern fight 2 remastered version the caught online g37h is now the world war 2 gaware 43 caught online type 95 has been replaced with the modern fight 3 version the caught online l11 has been like basically replaced with the ghost version you get the idea caught online is sh black ops 1 stakeout is now the black ops 4 zombies trench gun oh shit that's random right. and the m1 grand from aw has now been replaced with the infinite warfare version a lot of weapon changes which i don't really mind fair enough they had a ton of bitches with sprint animations basically some of the sprint animations were either just like slightly off to pure garbage so a lot of them had to be fixed some of them were just like slightly refined but others like they just got their own like completely custom sprint animation concentrating Am I on track for a nuke? No shot. Hold on, I gotta get my streaks up. Kind of crazy how different Call of Duty has gone, like, in terms of, like, pacing. Like, the recent games, like, even past, like, Ghosts, I'd say. Not just, like, the very recent games. Like, it's all about getting kills. It's all about, like, owning, like, everyone, like, doing crazy shit. Like, back in the day, it was, like, a staying alive game. No, I was on like a five kill. God damn it, I could have actually gone a precision airstrike. So the M40, the 50 cal, and the intervention now have their original sprint animation. So basically, I, th I think that's because like the remastered animations were scuffed. So they just like brought back the originals. But for some other guns, they couldn't bring back the originals. So they got their own custom ones. They're basically completely custom, but I think they were inspired by Infinite Warfare. Okay, fair enough. I feel like Infinite Warfare gets too much hate. I say that a lot, but like, I, I just think it does. It also changed a lot of the weapon movement animations. They went into heavy detail with this. The old bobbing, which is this as you can see right here it's been replaced with actual animation jumping landing and going prone have actual animations too so now it's not just that and it's convenient that i'm playing modern for two right now jesus christ sprinting while in the air will slow down the sprint animation until you're back on your feet that's a thing what oh i see it support for unique animations when reloading empty re-chamber based weapons have been has been added this is a little more complex to understand at first glance, but basically, the a the reload animation will be different. Okay, hold on. Do I have, like, a spaz class or something? I don't. Thank God I'm normal. Oh, I did have this one. All right. Like, basically, I'm just going to shoot, like, two bolts. All right? Now, I reload, and as you can see, it just refills them because, like, I already have the chamber in. Now, watch what happens when I empty it and I reload. You notice how I just like instantly start reloading instead of like putting in the putting it in the chamber first and then reloading? Well they fixed that now. Now it like actually starts with that. I don't know why I chose the intervention. I'm trash with the intervention. Hold up. Thank you. This one looks fucking crazy, like compared to how it's described. How it's described is kinda lame, but like when you look at the gif, it's mind blowing. But basically when you shot, you notice how it's just it just looks like a 2D effect and there's like no bullets on the floor. Well now there are bullets on the floor. Now it's physics based. And it looks wicked. I'm not even sure if this is like in the newer games. Then again, I don't really pay attention to it. It probably is, I think, to be honest. And also fully got rid of the marksman rifles category and just sort of split the weapons between tactical rifles and sniper rifles accordingly. The issue with the UI is that they used the dot menu files, quote unquote. Which basically is like technology that dates back to 1999 with Quake 3. It's probably like a fire game, but like it's 20 years old. Bro, my aim is just on today. Who the hell got a heli? What the fuck? Stop. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do something about it. Wait, I didn't hit. Alright, someone else got it. Yeah, this dot menu bullshit dates back to 1999. They never changed it. They tried to make their own custom thing, but like it, it was just way too much effort and they just couldn't be bothered, which I get that. We were probably taking too long. They just had to try to do what they can do, basically. Okay, this is just like most like little things, but it's still pretty interesting. They messed with the health bar a little. It looks cooler now. They changed the health bar up a little, so now it looks cooler. Just look how it drains. So they split the health bar into zones and they added this neat little animation whenever you get damaged. The little weapon bar in the bottom right looks cooler they changed the map intro text so now it has like a little sound and stuff it, it, it's pretty cool nothing that major nothing we would have died without or anything but like it's nice to have it's, it's just nice to have they also redesigned the kill cams a little now it has like a little distortion like at the end 
which sounds even better than like how it used to be. They messed with a default class symbol, and here's how creative class looks, by the way. It's the old pre Black Ops 2 non pick 10 system. I mean, pick 10 is my favorite, but like, I don't, I don't mind this. It, this makes sense. It, it looks clean. I like it. And they mess with the loading screen a little bit, and that's about it, really. I kind of skipped over a lot of the smaller details. If you want to read up on those, just go to the article. I like that in the description. It's a pretty good read. Really interesting. Yeah, check it out. And that's it. Oh, uh, I'm excited for uh, the game to release. The release is in like, what, like 2053 or something like that? Yeah, can't, can't wait.